Lots is happening at the Harris. It's all part of our Harris Your Place project. It's a once in a generation project to refurbish and redisplay nearly all of the spaces in the Harris. Through the project, there'll be all sorts of work going on in the building, so we want to make sure that everything is safely protected in situ where it's part of the building, or if it's a, a collection item uh, that, that can be safely moved into a storage location, then that's the best thing for that item. So we're at an absolute hive of activity at the Harris at the moment. We've got paintings that are coming off and being cleaned and condition checked, and then there'll be uh, boxed items heading out of the building soon, costume being prepared uh, and safely moved onto hanging rails. We've had books being packed up and wrapped downstairs. Uh, we want to do the best for this wonderful collection, this really varied collection that we've got at the Harris. So we're working with you know, professional movers and conservators uh, to make sure it, it comes down properly, it's cleaned, it's condition checked, and it's wrapped in conservation materials uh, ready to go to climate controlled stores. We've been working on the Alexander Freeze today, uh, safely removing that with the supervision of a conservator and the specialist move team. We have freezes all through the floors of the building and James Hibbert, the architect of the Harris, uh, wanted to include those in his scheme. The Alexander Freeze that is being removed only arrived in 1987 and it depicts Alexander the Great uh, entering the city of Babylon in 331. Uh, BC. It was uh, made by the Danish sculptor Bertel Thorvaldsen. The original version of the frieze was made to honour Napoleon who was due to visit Rome in 1812. Essentially it's a large decorative 3D piece that is hung on the wall rather than something that's integral to the building. Today we've been looking at it because it arrived in sections and we've been looking at separating the freeze into those original sections to safely crate it and move it off site. The conservator that we've employed has been examining where those joins are. We've also got historic photographs that we can uh, look at. And then it's been a case of, of tracing through those joins with a scalpel in some cases just to sort of safely separate them. What happened during the installation um, of the individual sections was that once they were installed, the joints between them were filled with plaster. And what we are doing now is we are creating a line in those fills to make sure that the sections separate along the joints and not within the relief itself, which might have weak areas. And the scalpel is gradually separating the two pieces. I think we've got a solid method now for safely separating the sections of the frieze. Some pieces have separated really easily, others um, we've been happy structurally to leave together and that's a bonus because anything we don't need to separate we won't. It's all about the object and making sure that that's safe and cared for for future generations to enjoy.